an Indonesian passenger plane that crashed with 54 people on board in Papua province was carrying cash worth around $470,000 for remote villages, a post office spokesman said on Monday as rescue teams headed to the mountainous site where it went down. The Trigana Air Service ATR 42-300 plane crashed on Sunday, the latest in a string of aviation disasters in the sprawling Southeast Asian archipelago. Earlier, a search and rescue plane spotted debris believed to be from the aircraft in the heavily forested Bintang Mountains district, local police chief Yunus Wali told the Antara News Agency, adding that a search team was approaching the area. There were 44 adult passengers, 5 children and infants and 5 crew on the Trigana short-haul flight from Santani Airport in Jayapura, capital of Papua, south to Oksabil. All those on the plane were Indonesian nationals, a national search and rescue agency, BASA RNAs, officials said. Airline officials were not immediately available to respond to questions from Reuters. There was no suggestion that the large sum of money being transported on the plane was linked to its crash. There were four people carrying the money, 6.5 billion rupiah, $471,500, PTPOS spokesman Abu Safian said, adding that it was part of an official assistance program for the poor and was intended to be distributed to villagers. He said poor infrastructure in Indonesia's easternmost province meant that assistance money was often flown in by air. A Super Puma helicopter crashed in the same area last year, said Saito, a BASA RNA's communications operator in Jayapura who goes by one name. It's the weather there, it changes all the time. In the morning it can be clear and hot and then suddenly it rains, Saito said. The crashed ATR 42-300 made its first flight 27 years ago, according to the Aviation Safety Network. Trigana Air Service has a fleet of 14 aircraft, with an average age of 26.6 years, according to the Airfleets.com database. Trigana has been on the European Union's list of banned carriers since 2007 due to safety or regulatory concerns.